Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. As you can see and probably hear, my setup today is a little bit different and uh, that's because it is Sunday evening right now, it's quite late. Um, this is the first chance I've had to film anything for you guys outside of Christmas tunes this month. So um, yeah, today I'm going to be taking you through some of the ways that you can store your whistle that I've found online and some of the ways I use myself. So if you guys are looking for new ideas on how to keep, protect and store your whistles, then you're in the right place. Now firstly, some whistles do come with their own cases depending on where you buy them from. For example, my MK Pro Low D whistle comes in this nice felted case. Quite a simple case design, so if you did want to replicate this yourself, all you'd need is a large sheet of felt, which you then sew up either side. Basically one long length of felt, and it's been folded in half to the length of the whistle, and then the top's just been folded over simple as that. And that is probably my best whistle case. So it goes to show how easy it is to make these things. You could do this with um, iron-on tape, but it really doesn't matter how you stitch this together. It's a really simple way forward. Secondly, we have the velvet drawstring pouch. And this one is very similar to the felt. Um, it's a length of material, for example, a scarf that you don't use anymore, that's been folded over short ways rather than long ways. So the seam, there's one seam on this and it goes right the way from the bottom here to the top and then there's a drawstring part at the top. Now it's actually covering my low C whistle and uh, the whistle's a bit big for this pouch but I don't really mind. But as you can see you've got a drawstring end here so if you did have a smaller whistle in this pouch you could close the end to keep any dust or dirt out. That is another really simple easy whistle case that you could probably make at home. The easiest way would be to get an old scarf, as I've suggested, fold it in half, sew up the end, and voila, whistle case complete. For those of you that knit or have friends that do knit, this case comes from Japan. I bought this, um, I actually bought a shawl in Japan and this case came with it, but it is a knitted design. Now this hasn't been knitted with wool, it's been knitted with uh, lighter weight fabric and um, basically, yeah, again, knit a sock or knit a scarf, knit two straight lengths of material and sew them up the sides. Drawstring at the top, job done. Very simple, very stylish and very easy to make for any of you who do actually knit. Moving on to items that you might have around your home. Now this is a cardboard tube that if you do order any whistles online, you'll see that a lot of them come in these cardboard tubes. I've got about three or four small whistles in here and uh, basically you don't even need to cover it. You just need to open the end, slide your whistles in and it's job done. You do need to make sure your whistles are dry if you are using cardboard tubes, obviously because any excess moisture will sort of seep out into the cardboard, but otherwise, great way to store whistles and super, super easy. Any posters that you have or anything that comes in that tube shaped box, perfect for storing whistles. The same applies to plastic tubes. Now this one actually came with um, a roll of pink brushes that I ordered. Uh, so as you can see, the pink brushes came in this plastic tube. This plastic tube itself is perfect for storing whistles in, especially for whistles that you wanna grab quickly on the go. You could put something in the bottom there to absorb any additional moisture that comes out of your whistle, but in general, easy access and yeah, keeps your whistles safe away from dirt and dust and is really easy to clean. If you have nothing else to store your whistles in, there are always boxes that you have around the home. Shoe boxes can be quite good uh, for storing smaller whistles, uh, but if nothing else, there's always socks. Now, socks themselves, providing they're clean and ideally new, or one of a pair and you've lost the other partner to it, they make a great place to uh, store, store socks. They make a great place to store whistles around the home. I cannot advise taking whistles out in these because you may be frowned upon, but if that's cool with you, well, it's cool with me. <laughs> but socks can be great. Wee, off it goes. Socks can be great, especially longer socks for storing larger whistles. Um, as I said, it's not aesthetically pleasing, but it does the job. Getting innovative. Speaking of paintbrush and paint tube holders, this is my latest little amazing whistle holder and this is actually a paint tube holder by a company called Develio. You can find them on Amazon if you want to give this a try. I did have to um, 
kind of adjust this a little bit, but yeah, it works great. So what this does is it ties up, it then unrolls, and the idea is you actually store paints in this. You can see it's got little compartments here um, that would have actually stored paint tubes. What I've had to do here is remove the stitching from the bottom of these little compartments that would have previously stored the paint tubes, and that has allowed me to slide my whistles into this very neat carry case. Now the good thing I like about this particular one is that it does have flaps on either side that will hold your whistles in place. It also has the a little elasticated sort of sections on the inside as well, and that keeps everything nice and secure. As you can see, even the longer whistles that go above the main frame of this still fit in using these little elasticated straps. It's easy to take with you anywhere. You simply fold in the outer edges, fold down the top flap, roll up, tie up, and you're good to go. So do check out paint supplies and paint tube holders. Um, if you are interested in trying to find a nice, easy way to carry a few whistles with you at once. Um, but yeah, I would go for paint tube holders rather than paint brush holders. For example, this is the paint brush holder and there's no way that you'd ever fit um, whistles in this because the spaces, although it would be perfect, simply aren't wide enough. What you could do if you wanted to would be to unpick the stitching all the way down here and um, effectively open up the space so that you'd have a whistle in two holes rather than in one hole, and that would work. Um, but yeah, I'd like to keep all these brushes in their nice little house, <laughs> so I haven't done that as yet, but you could. A little bit more work, um, but it might be useful if you wanted to take all high whistles with you, for example, and yeah, you wanted something smaller to carry with you. Might be a good place to start. Now with regard to standing um, and displaying your whistles or having a standing feature case, stand, a standing stand, <laughs> um, I have seen a few crates and uh, sort of pencil pots, things like that, anything that you can stand something in that holds its own weight and will hold additional weight is a great place to store your whistles. Some people create a wooden slab with a lot of um, wooden sticks sticking up in different sizes and they stand their whistles on those wooden sticks. I'll try and find some pictures online and show you guys these. Also, um, yeah, any sort of pencil pot or any sort of crate that you can slide your whistles through any open spaces and if that will hold its own weight, again, it will hold your whistles. I have seen a lot of whistlers also utilise um, sort of briefcases and any sort of hard backed music cases. In general, you can get these for um, recording equipment, but you can get them customised. So you can get a hard case that has sponge on the inside. You can cut this to suit the exact shape of the whistles that you want to carry with you. And that is a great and professional way of making sure your more expensive whistles or your more prized and precious whistles are definitely kept safe and secure, especially when traveling. That is about it for this little video on uh, tin whistle cases and carry cases and storage and so much more. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that I came to you with less than ample lighting, sound, imagery and clothing. I am in my pajamas. It is Sunday night, but uh, yeah, this is coming out to you on Tuesday. I hope you guys, en I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you find my tips helpful. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to tune in on Friday where we'll be having some more Christmas tunes. Two amazing Christmas tunes coming up. And yeah, until then, happy whistling. I'll see you guys soon. Check me out on Coffee and Patreon. Check out my merchandise. All the links are in the description. And uh, don't forget to check out some of my other tips and tricks as well here on YouTube. Yes, that's it. That's it from me. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye. But socks can be great. Wee, off it goes. As I said, it's not aesthetically pleasing, but it does the job. I just took that off my foot. I am actually gonna have to put that back on. <laughs>